Have you ever seen a retirement home like this one? No, neither have we. I want to live my last days in this park. I will never have the opportunity again to buy such a property with 12,000 square meters. Impossible. We explore a state-of-the-art luxury retreat set in three acres of Dutch parkland south of Os in the Netherlands and find out what makes it so unusual. Retired businessman Bert lives in this magnificent house near Horsen with his wife Jeanette. Bert is a self-confessed electronics and automation geek, so when it came time to stop working, he knew exactly how he wanted to spend his hard-earned retirement. We wanted a modern house, we wanted a house which was functional. I'm going to leave this property in a box, if you know what I mean. So we want to live here in a good manner during these last years. And I hope it will be 20, 30 years that's left for us. And that's why we renovated this house with a lot of electronics, but also things like an elevator, a real elevator, uh, to get to our bedroom. Such an ambitious renovation would be a tall order for anyone, let alone a retired couple. But for Bert, quality of life was his main motivation for being energy self-sufficient. Staying home with people around you is much better, of course, for your health, for your mental health, for your physical health. That's why we improved the house, that we can live here until we leave forever. Important was for me, really from the start, of the design of the house, that the network was running perfectly. Because for now and in the future, you need electronic equipment which communicates with each other through a good network. And the house is really designed around those specifications of the network and around the whole IT business. So how to go about the huge task of turning a large house with two barns and horse stables into a comfortable and efficient home powered by ESS, or Energy Storage System. Bert's first call was to local installation experts, Top Systems, who have been Victron Energy distributors for more than 20 years. Not everybody is willing or can actually exp uh, afford to have energy storage. With Mr. Elbeser, I kind of knew quite soon that he wanted something which is getting more and more important for customers and for people in general, is independency. And of course, independency in the Netherlands with our kind of weather is quite difficult. But if you have the space and if you have what it takes, you can have more solar experiment with the battery capacity and expand it if needed and then you create uh, the best for yourself. I have very sensitive electronics here in the house. You saw the electronics for controlling the domotics, you saw the televisions I have and until a few years back the grid in the Netherlands was quite stable. It was 230 volts but coming up all the solar panels the grid became unstable. I did measurements and I saw that the grid voltage changed from 230 to 250 to 252 volts. That was too much for myself for the electronic equipment. So the first thing I did was indeed to protect the high voltage, uh, my equipment for the high voltage, is put converters in between to lower down the voltage. This is not a long term planning because if I want to add more electronics, Every time I have to stabilize the voltage of the grid. So then the idea of the ESS came up again. And the ESS, you can control the frequency and the voltage inside your house by yourself. So you must have a very reliable source which generates your energy. The Victron inverter is the best component in, in our configuration. So we might maybe use different brands as it comes to uh, the energy source. So how have Bert and Johan achieved this? 
Well, initially, Johan took careful energy consumption readings to gauge what size ESS was needed. Based on this data, it was decided to install a three-phase Victron Energy MultiPlus system with three 10 kVA inverters, a Pylontech battery combination of eight US 5000s, so roughly 40 kilowatt hours of storage. 130 solar panels are spread out across the property at different angles and pitches. Half of the capacity is split into AC and the other half DC. Eight trackers are combined in two RS450 200s. Victron is always for us the key element for getting the best, combined with the GX devices and the VRM, which is very powerful. Victron gave me access to their systems, to their software, to make their system integrate with my system running over here in my house. That means that I have connected everything and I thought that my ESS system would be a separate island. It's not. My ESS system is thanks to the APIs and thanks to the communication with uh, the Victron uh, systems is a part of the whole house now. So my energy system is a part of my total IT system in-house. The need for such a powerful, fully integrated and automated system is clear when you consider Bert's energy needs. Underfloor heating, air conditioning, the heating, lifts, the water pumps for his horse stables, along with an air purification system that was always an integral part of Bert's vision for the house. I can control every room individual because uh, we have air purification, means that the whole heating is done amongst the floor heating, done by uh, air. And I can control every room, every space with a different temperature. Every button on the wall, if you've seen here, has also a temperature sensor inside. So I can, with my software, designate a, a room, which room has which sensor uh, it has to listen to. Bert's ESS system has now been online since March 2023. So how has it been performing? As from the beginning, the system has started up and since then it's not being down at all. So it's the same as the grid system in fact. It's as, as reliable as the grid, but more stable. But it's there, it's there as if I was on the grid. It's always there. And also the children, the grandchildren leave on the lights. And as you will know, you always were teach by your pens, in, not in a soft way, switch of the lights. It happens here also. And sometimes lights are on all day. And then, yeah, okay, that's life. But we are absolutely not living in a different way as we were living on the grid. Absolutely not. <laughs> The energy storage system is self-maintaining and should happily run fault-free for many more years. Bert's already disconnected his gas supply and is now looking into installing a wind turbine to add to his system for power generation during winter, which will make this unique retirement home even more self-sufficient for years to come. Marianka, her husband Marco and their children have just installed their own ESS system at their house in the Netherlands. They documented it all from start to finish in a vlog, so why not check out their video.